Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, a technical trader. It's Wednesday night, February the 16th. Market keeps rolling along, and uh, more stocks keep breaking out every day. And today, I'm going to show you some examples of uh, some of the stocks that we've been following that are looking real good. Starting off with Accuray, current swing trade of ours. You can see the big price volume surge here in the little pennant or flag. Stock popped for two days, pulled back in another flag, and today up another 55 cents or 5.5%. And, and this one looks like it's headed for at least 11 and a Three quarter range, something of that nature, perhaps even size 13. AZC, current swing trade of ours as well. Broke out here, consolidated for a week and a half, and then started moving in the last three sessions. You can see the stock uh, this week went from 462 to 549 already. And it looks like it may be headed for six and three quarters, our short term trading target. Big breakout today for Cyanotech, C Y A N, a drug, drug related company. You'll see here that the uh, Stock had come down for about six months, popped, pulled back, and then really exploded in November, only to pull back for a couple months in a orderly, neat pullback channel. Today, a uh, nearly million share traded up 39% up a dollar three, 365, traded as high as 467. So a pullback of a point, but still a big session for it, and one time up substantially higher. Uh, we'll have to see if there's a follow through, but with that kind of volume, I'm thinking we're going to see the stock move and we'll set a short term trading target between four and three quarters and five. ELOS had a big day as well. Take a look at the chart. You'll see the uh, important breakout today occurred as the this line here, which held back this entire move in the last year and a half, was broken with a price volume thrust of 21% or $2.42 on $1.8 million. Close at 1410, not that far off the high. Now that is near secondary price resistance, but ultimately a move up to the 08 highs around 18 is what I'm looking for for ELOS. INPH had a big spectacular surge this week, but look at the last couple three sessions. Notice that this stock has gotten narrower and quieter in a little bit of a coil pattern. <clears throat> Two consecutive inside days and then on low volume today, especially with technicals holding up well. I think it's not done yet. I think we're going to get another pop. Minimum target six and a half, but I wouldn't be surprised to see the stock double from here in the next few weeks. INWK, big day today as well. Inner workings. This um, this firm broke out of a key, key two and a half year base at the, through this lateral price resistance. And now the next target is uh, for me is up around 11. At that level, there is some resistance around 9. Expect that to be reached shortly, but ultimately it works its way towards 11. <clears throat> LMLP, I um, wanted to highlight this today because it's been stair-stepping. With a pop here and a four-day flag, a pop and a two-day flag, it then had a little bit of a move yesterday, and then today had an inside day on lower volume, but technicals continue to thrust higher. I'm looking for the stock to make it up to this line here, which gets it up about the $7 range, maybe higher. Certainly, uh, with volume thrusting and technicals moving, wouldn't you be shocked to see the stock make that move? LNG, what current swing trade of ours, has been uh, moving nicely after breaking out here and flagging. It popped, had a big reversal day two days ago, backed off yesterday and came on once again today. I moved through nine. It's going to accelerate this towards the 10 and a half range, my short term target. Secondary target potentially up around 14. Lazy Boy, big day today, breaking out of this entire base with a price breakaway gap above 50. And then a move across the, the December, January highs around the nine and a half area to get it up to 1064, up 236, 28.5% today on a monster volume for that, 5.7 million shares. Going all the way back in all these years, I don't see a day bigger than that. At this point, I wouldn't be shocked to see it make a run at the um, March, April, March, April highs up around the 15, 15 and a half is on my secondary trading target with a short term target up around. 12, 12 and a quarter. NSIT, the last couple of days has been ripping. You can see the breakout across this key two and a half year resistance level and this base here with a big breakaway gap yesterday. Um, yesterday jumping a dollar, a 302 or 20.6%, today up another eight and a quarter percent. As volume uh, pulled back a little bit, but the stock certainly did not. And um, even though it may be short term uh, overbought, I wanted to point that out. Consolidation may take place, but I'm looking for a stock to get to the 21-22 zone.
PKT is looking awfully good of late. This pop here and its three-day pullback was very bullish because it came on lower volume. Technicals held up well, and so did the price as it held at the breakout point, and then spiked up the last four days, taking it from about six and three quarters to ten just in the last four sessions. Short-term target up at the uh, ten and a half, ten, ten and a half range or so may provide some resistance, but ultimately I think the stock, and uh, that's right up here about 1080. But ultimately, I think the stock makes it towards 13, maybe 15 zone. Yeah, so keep an eye on PKT. Photronics, big move in the last few sessions. You can see the price breakaway gap a week ago. It's moved up steadily. And then today popped a dollar 30 or 16% and maybe headed for my trading target about 11, 11 and a quarter. And lastly, today is Threshold Pharmaceuticals, which had a spectacular session. Note the breakout here. And then the big coil that developed over the last six weeks. Today it exploded, got up to 334 at one point, closed at 285, up a dollar ten or 63 percent on 7.7 million shares, massive volume. But I'm looking for an extension that takes us up towards the three and a half, three quarter range short term, and, um, and perhaps a further rise up towards the four and a three quarters, five zone secondary target. That's the ideas for tonight. Have a good evening.